So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at our first chords. And we're going to take a look at three chords. We're going to take a look at a G chord. We're going to take a look at a G7 chord. And we're going to be taking a look at a C chord. And they sound like that. Now all these three chords are played using the top three strings. Strings three, two, one. And when we strum, we're going to strum with our pick going across all three strings. There we go. So let's take a look at our first chord. So the first G chord, we're going to play with our first finger, pushing down on the third fret of the first string. That's how the note sounds. So I then play the three, two, one strings individually. You can hear each tone is ringing out clearly. So then we strum those three, three strings together, and we have our G chord. Moving to the G7 chord, we take our first finger on the first fret of the first string, to have a note sounds like on its own. We play three, two, one strings, to make sure everything is ringing out clearly, and then we strum the three strings together. Okay. And that's our G7 chord. The last chord we're going to look at is the C chord. And we're going to take our first finger again. We're going to put it on the first fret of the second string. And that's how the note on its own sounds. And then we're going to strum 3, 2, 1. Inhale the notes again, ringing clearly. And then we strum the three strings together. And that's our C chord for beginners. Okay, so we have our G chord, we have our G7 chord, and we have our C chord. So take it slowly, work each chord at a time, press down with a finger, play the note so you can hear the note, play the strings 3, 2, 1, make sure every string is ringing clearly, and then we strum the chord together. Okay, and we'll talk more in our lessons. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.